shaking overnight. Smoke and flames fill a Concord fire station. Several firefighters were inside asleep when it happened. Nicole Jacobs is live in West Concord this morning with a closer look at the damage. Nicole? Okay, first things first, everyone is okay, but this certainly is not a story you hear about often. A fire inside a fire station. The response time was quick here because two firefighters and a lieutenant were all inside asleep at the time of this fire. You can see some of the damaged fleet here behind me. We'll get you right to some video right now showing you the response and the damage here. The fire chief tells us those three firefighters were awoken by the smoke detectors and a haze of smoke. Right now, officials believe the fire started on the first floor near one of the engines. You can see the smoke and the heat damage to the fleet here. The chief says, with the exception of the engine stored in the middle bay, nothing is a total loss. It was the main station here in Conquer that was dispatched to actually fight this fire because crews here were unable to reach their gear, which I've been told is now completely destroyed. The chief was asked if this impacts their ability to respond to other calls in the community. Here's what he had to say. It doesn't. The, um, so we've got mutual aid covering now. Uh, we've already made arrangements for a uh, um, somebody else's reserve ambulance to uh, be made available to us this morning. And taking a live look here, you can see again that middle bay, the engine there heavily damaged, $480,000 we're told it's worth. Uh, the Sudbury engine is here to uh, to uh, contribute service to this part of the community and a Lincoln ambulance will be used uh, later on this morning. In the words of the fire chief, this is a hefty insurance claim here, one that they'll be contending with for some time. As for the investigation, the fire marshal's office is assisting, even though the chief says they have their own investigators, he's still enlisting the help of that department. That's the very latest from Concord. Nicole Jacobs, WBZ This Morning.